Adobe just released a new feature in Camera Raw called Super Resolution. It's software that uses machine learning and AI to upscale any image to double its size. But there's been some confusion on how to access and use this new feature in Adobe, so I'm going to show you exactly how today. Before we start, to all you subscribers, welcome back and thank you. And if you're new here, my name is James. I'm a photographer based in Las Vegas, and this channel is all about making photography simple. Okay, so super resolution. First, what does it do? Basically, using an advanced machine learning model trained on millions of images, super resolution doubles the linear resolution, both the height and the width of your image, giving you four times the original number of megapixels. So an image that could only be printed at an eight by 10, for instance, can now be printed at 16 by 20. And it does this without introducing any artifacts or losing details in the image. So those older shots you took with smaller cameras or on your phone can now be double the original size and printable. Same thing with the shots you got on your large camera, but you had to crop in to frame the subject like sports or wildlife images. That crop can now be printed at a much larger size and it works on any raw, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF file. How cool is that? So how exactly do you do it? Well, let's jump into the computer and I'll show you exactly how. So first, open Adobe Bridge. Because this doesn't work yet in the Camera Raw filter within Photoshop, only the standalone Camera Raw interface on your desktop, the only way to get there is through Adobe Bridge. So once Bridge is open, next navigate to your photo in the film strip. Don't open it yet. And you can see here we have an image that's about 5,000 by 7,500, which translates to roughly a 16 by 24 print at 300 DPI. But say we wanted a large print using super resolution, this could be a 32 by 48 at 300 DPI or 64 by 96 inch print at 150 DPI, which is perfectly acceptable in the home. So then we right click on the photo or hold down Ctrl or Alt while you click on it and choose Open Camera Raw. Then right click on the photo again and choose Enhance down here. Make sure Super Resolution is checked. And you can see here that when you import a raw image, this box will be checked. And that gives just a little bit of additional sharpness and detail, but this is a TIFF file, so it isn't checked. The box below down here will tell you how long the processing will take. And for this image, it's estimating 15 seconds. Not too bad for quadrupling the size of the image. And this little box shows you a super zoom portion of the image. This little part right down here, you can see. And if you click on it, you can see what the image looks like without enhancement, which is a little bit blurry and then with the enhancement it's a little bit sharper and of course it's going to look a little grainy because this is an insane zoom of this little box but at 100% it looks sharp and clean really good okay then click enhance and that's it the new raw DNG file is saved right next to the original and you can do the super resolution before or after you do your color correction and processing it's up to you if you process before enhancing those edits will be used to create the super resolution and that was about 15 seconds. Here's the file that was created. If we click on that at 100%, you can see that it's now much larger, four times the size of the original image. And I should note, so you know, super resolution is currently limited to 65,000 pixels on the long side or 500 megapixels total. Otherwise, you'll just get an error message. But Adobe is working to expand this. Let me know how this works for you in the comments below. Okay, I hope this super fast video helped. If you feel like it did, please hit that like button as that definitely helps. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to stay in the loop around here. And I'll see you in the next video.